What's happening everybody? Jim here from Clockwork Industries. Welcome back to another rough cut video. Today I'm going to go through the quick process of an updated method that I got in here for probing off work features that the probe can't reach because of travel issues. Um, I already have that whole fixture all done and everything, but this is a cool little setup that I uh, came up with. I'll just show that to you right now, but I basically took parallels and attached them to one, two, three blocks. I don't want to drop that with a magnet in there. So I can drop it on and push it up to the edge of the stock and get an accurate probe off of the uh, inside of the parallel. So basically you'll run the probing routine of finding the inside center of a part. And then I have some cutoff here. This is just some uh, one thou stainless steel shim stock. And basically, Parallels can have a little bit of a curve to them, uh, depending on the quality of the set, where you got them, brand, everything like that, the quality control they have there. So if you can't fit a one thou behind your parallel here, you're going to be well within, that means you're in under a thou on each side, so you're going to be well within the specs of the Tormox accuracy as it is. So as long as you can tell that it's pushed up tight against there, you should have no problem getting a nice accurate probe reading. Um, so once that's done, I need this actual work origin setup because I'm going to be installing a high density polyethylene spoil board. So that's kind of what the topic of this is I want to talk about. This is going to let me run quick one-off parts, uh, pre-processing for reservoirs. I'm going to be making a batch of uh, 120 millimeter fan mount reservoirs like the Solaria's. Uh, I also have a quite a bit of custom manifold and reservoir work coming up here soon so the uh what this is going to let me do is swap between a spoil board setup and then all i got to do is drop this fixture plate back on and i'm running production with the same fixtures for the cable management like i was doing on the uh 770m so this is just going to give me quick easy simple ways to zap down some parts you can screw wood screws right into high density polyethylene you could uh you might want to pre-drill a hole, but I mean, for the most part, you can you can get a screw right into this and it holds up well, surface it, and it's a nice quick way to get, get parts done that you don't need to set up in a vise, you don't need to make a fixture for. Uh, you could just clamp a sheet down with some screws and basically do tabbed work holding, whatever you want to do. So that's the purpose of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll probe in this thing and get it all set up. Then I'm going to need to do, uh, here, I'll pull you in here so you can take a look. We're going to get some 632 screws put into here that will hold down the uh, spoil board. I'm going to put one like, you know, basically in a pattern across this fixture plate. And then we'll take this piece here with some double sided tape, set it, ta tape it down to this fixture, get the holes drilled so I can mount it down with the screws. We'll surface it off and then that'll, that'll wrap up this video here. The point of this video is just about getting the spoil boards thing set up and a kind of upgraded probing method uh, using the parallels and the magnets and everything. Uh, it's been really helpful to do that because the travel, when you're, if you try to do the outer probing setup where it probes all the way around and finds the center, the uh, probe will hit a travel error when it backs off to move to the next point. I did see that NYC and C posted a video about that and I think you for like better quicker probing cycles I think you might be able to have it you could go into like either the config file and path pilot or in their probing section I think and maybe you can have it where it doesn't back off as far so it hits your probing point and only backs off like a sixteenth of an inch if I could get it to do that I could probably do the travel so I'll look into that and maybe we'll do another video on that down the road but I just needed a quick easy fast setup to probe uh, you know the whole work area that i'm working with and i don't really i'm not able to go all the way around the edges so the parallel trick is really what i wanted to focus on with that and uh let's go ahead and get this probed in and we'll get the screws in and we'll surface this up and then in the next video i'll walk you through making a batch of reservoirs out of that stock there okay so let's go ahead and run this probing here when you're doing sorry about the glare when you're doing this fine pocket center, you want to start closer to this side, especially if you're doing like a big work area like this, because if I was start over there, it's going to travel over to here first. 
So it's better to just start close to here so it's the least amount of travel. So it'll hit here, it'll go over to the other side, then come to the middle, and then do the Y axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit find center. All right, so there we go. Now I got my origin set in the center, and I'll do a quick set the height to the top of the fixture. And now all of the all of the axes are zeroed out and ready to go. Okay, so I got this piece of acrylic mounted down here. I'm gonna start running some tests and uh, doing some prototype work uh, for the Celerity R2 reservoirs. And I'm also gonna knock out that whole sheet of raw material, turn that into some reservoirs and put those up on the website. Um, speaking of the website, you can go over there and hit the contact form if you want any custom manifolds or reservoirs or really any kind of custom work right now. The doors are open for that, the hiatus is over. Uh, with production dialed in on all the fixtures and the system working pretty well between the two machines, uh, I'm able to get it decently ahead or at least keep up when I need to for production. So if you do need any kind of custom work done, uh, go ahead and hit the contact form on the website. The link is down in the description. Also down in there is a link to the Discord channel. Uh, I set that up like a about a month or so ago. We got a handful of people in there sharing their machining, 3D printing, PC mods, asking questions, all that kind of stuff. It's also gonna be a good place to do kind of any kind of consulting or needing to talk through a custom order or something like that. So. Uh, Keep an eye out for that. Uh, the link down there does work now. There was one that I was using that kept I kept use, uh, leaving it to where it's set to expire in seven days. So thank you, Jeff, for reaching out and letting me know about that. The link on the website is a permanent link. The link in the description here is a permanent link, and I did change a couple of the previous video descriptions uh, to set it up with the right link. So. Um, other than that, uh, if you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you liked the video, leave a comment and let me know what kind of work holding you guys use on your Tormach, what, what you found to be best for you. The spool board setup is a super handy way to just slap down sheet material. It's really good for machining plastics and stuff that when you, if you're gonna clamp it in a vise and it has too much pressure on it, this is, a, this is a pretty nice way to do it. It's also good for like, I'm gonna be using it to prep 
uh, raw material for reservoirs and getting them ready to go on the fixture. All the Solaria reservoirs, once they're actually in production again, will be all done on fixtures. Each, like there'll be a 120, a 240, and a 360 fixture. And I'll use this method to either surface what I have to surface and do any kind of preliminary mounting holes or dowel pin holes if needed. And then they'll go from there onto the fixtures and then I can give that back into the rotation like that. So. Uh, other than that, that's going to wrap up this video. I'm trying to get more videos out. Uh, some of these look a little bit shorter, less editing, and uh, I'm able to do that pretty frequently. And then when I have another bigger video that needs to get a lot of editing done, I'm going to have my buddy Steven take care of that. Um, the contour combs are on the website. There's still a sale going on, 15% off your order with uh, CLKIND15. There's a banner at the top of the website for that. Uh, I should have the combs on Amazon here soon. They're already on... They're on Etsy, my website, and on, uh, I set up an eBay shop, so there's a handful of combs over there available if you prefer to shop there. But I, eBay, uh, Amazon now no, needs, no longer needs a UPC label uh, for certain types of products. You have to get an approval for it, so uh, I have all that stuff set up. I just got to start adding the products. I think I should be able to start doing that tomorrow. Um, other than that, I think that's going to be about it. Be on the lookout for the uh, Backtrack combs, the Navigator combs. Those are coming here soon. The Solaria R2 reservoirs and uh there's going to be an acrylic backtrack home as well i'm going to get that on the site here probably this coming week uh since i won't need any fixtures for that i'm waiting for delivery of material and fixtures and that should let me get the uh the four or five si or five or six sizes of backtrack homes done at least the first four uh and once those are done i'll get those on the website 24 16 14 and, and 12 i'm going to start with and i'll probably add eight and six later but uh that's what I'm working on now and uh, the next video will be about machining some reservoirs I haven't had a video doing any acrylic machining in quite a while so that's what we'll do on the next one is go through the process of the whole I'll start with the tape and everything and how I how I go through that whole process basically so stay on the lookout for that uh, also hit the notification bell I'm gonna start doing more live streams I've switched to a different streaming software that way I can have if someone in the chat wants to hop in they can hit the link and we can talk about whatever's going on i think what i'm gonna start doing for the live streams too is bring you know i have a i have a wide range of audience that's based on my different hobbies that's kind of how i built this channel and uh anything from machining to uh manufacturing fabrication lean manufacturing to pc modding custom pc all that kind of stuff so i think i'm going to try to bring in some like uh news articles or something that's relevant something not like uh not like current events exactly, but just something that's kind of pertaining to each thing that I find interesting. And I want to try to bring that to a live stream every week. And then if anybody's in the chat that wants to come in and talk, and then I also want to get the podcast going where I talk to specifically to like other modders, small business owners, machinists, stuff like that, and uh, get that going on the website and the YouTube channel. So be on the lookout for all that stuff. A lot of stuff coming up this year. So uh, stay tuned, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Later.